Hi and welcome. So um, this is actually a little bit of application to showcase how you can build a highly scalable um, video chat um, messaging application, right? So um, the way it works now is that a, you can actually join a call. It works exactly as Google Meet, if you know how Google Meet works or Zoom. So this is actually a bit of application that we have to show us some of this functionality, right? So we're actually building this off using the Zego Cloud, right? So Zego Cloud is actually a, um, a global platform that you can use, right? It actually has some sort of um, SDKs and, and UI kits that you can use. So I'm going to show you that this entire thing, this entire thing you see on the layout, on the view, was actually built with um, known code from my hand, right? So it's more of, you know, using their UI kit to achieve all of this. So I'm going to demo it for you guys real quick. And then, so um, we have this, this is actually my microphone turned on. So this is my name, I'll just join up. I'll just copy the personal link and go back to a new tab, paste that in there. This is the room. I'm going to join in as a different individual. So I'm going to turn off the camera real quick. And let's call this Peter, Peter James and join. So um, obvious cases, so you can see we have Peter James joined us and also we, we ourselves, you can see your name right there. So this actually makes sense when you want to build a highly scalable application. All you have to do is, is to basically use Zego Cloud. And um, I worked on an application recently and I basically um, used their services. So I thought it would actually be beneficial for some of you guys building large scale applications because what we have here basically auto skills. So I'm going to show you how it works. First off, you basically need to have an idea of the UI kit, right? You can navigate to this link and you see a couple of, you know, of the stores and so on, right? So they basically have, you know, these kits that you can use, right? So you can always go to developers, go to documentation to read more about it, right? So I'm going to show you the, uh, the implementation of all of this, how we actually implemented all of this, right? So you can actually toggle your camera, do stores and so on. I'm going to toggle that and pull that off real quick and change the layout if you want, show it as a grid, show it as a sidebar and so on. So this is actually very fantastic and this is what we'll be building right now. So first off, um, for you to start, you basically need to create, um, create an account, right? So how do we do that? So what you normally do is, I think I'm going to log out of my existing account. I'm going to sign up as a different user. In an account, what you need to do is to go to, you can see here, go to this link and you want to just click on sign up real quick and it's going to see greeting with this form basically. So I'm going to fill it with my actual information and um, yeah, so let's put Nigeria there. Search. Right. Verification code, right? So now we don't want to use this email. I've already used this before. I'm going to use a different email. Right, and uh... okay, so when you're done, basically sign up, it's going to take you to the dashboard, right? So here you basically need to, you know, create a project, set up your name, and so on, right? So when you set up all this information, they're going to give you 10,000 free credits. So I'm just going to use this job title, individual developer. Um, so IT, um, select your country. Okay. Let's see if we have, what we do next is we're going to, you know, explain the different things going on here. Let me confused. Right, so first off, we want to, you know, generate some sort of random ID. This, this doesn't relate to you by any means. You can just, you know, generate some random ID. This is just a logic for you to generate random IDs. And to get URLs from params, right? So this is necessary when we want to get the room ID, right? So in your parameters, there's actually a room ID. So I'm going to demo this for you real quick. So when I copy on this link, there's actually a room ID right here, as you can see. So the room ID here is B6Z61, right? So this is the exact same thing we are doing here. So we want to actually get 
you know the room id from your url so now that we already have the url we basically need to generate a test token so in a production ready application you want to generate an actual token not a text token actually right so in here we basically need to put in our app id app id is coming from constant i've defined a constant already and the way it works i'm going to close this out go in here and go to my application right here so this is my app id so this is my app id right here so you can copy it and then replace it in your own case with this right so the server secret it's right here right so this is server secret so as you can see is actually um used for authentication so it's very important you, you specify that so now you get your room id as i explained earlier so you basically need to you know put in some sort of um ids random ids basically right so in an actual profession setting you basically need to generate use a different function function to generate a token right so now that we have that we basically need a way to create to instantiate our zego cloud ui kit so now we basically have as i mentioned earlier everything we have here you know was not done by me it is actually like pre-built on the ui kit right so i don't need to worry about the overhead or whatever you know associated associated with you know developing our actual core application so what i need to worry about is how to instantiate my ui kit and zero cloud is going to go ahead and give me basically all the component so you can see here we have a personal link we can just you know rename this to okay copy link to join group to join right something like that yeah so this is actually i'll show you where this comes in in a bit right so this is actually the way you instantiate the join room right so this function this is the way you instantiate your zego ui kit and this is the way you basically you know um, join a room so when you're joining a room it's going to basically call all of this right so and also we have a scenario mode so this scenario mode can actually be one for one-on-one -on -one call of a group call in our own case it's actually group call very similar to what we have in meet or you know or zoom as the case may be so now zero um uik preview basically has a couple of other functionalities that you might want to play with so i'm going to over you can see we have the co-host we have the host we have the one-on-one -on -one call right you can copy that and change this to one-on-one -on -one call this case is going to be a one-on-one -on -one call right so we're going to undo that we just want to stick with group call for now right so you come here we have live streaming if you want a live streaming kind of thing you might want to you know specify that and replace that with live streaming so yeah i think this is all you need and also in your in here you basically need to specify your div right so this is just a div and the reference is my method so my method if as you can see i'm going to show you real quick my method here is actually if you override you can see it um it's basically containing everything we've initiated right right from us getting the test token to us instantiating the zego cloud ui kit right and basically you know joining the room so now basically this is actually a reference so that means this entire container will actually be we encapsulate the actual call module by call module i actually refer to the entire component we need to you know to carry out a call basically right so basically you can see we have the 100 view width and the, we have the 100 view height so this actually allows it to stretch from the beginning of the screen right to the end you know having the 100 view height basically covers the entire thing so this gives us a proper understanding of how the system should be and um, yeah this is just all you need to set it up and you can see it doesn't really take much these are all the basic code you obviously need to set up a system like this right so i don't want to have some sort of complex authentication logic to make it very complicated so i just need to the person this code for you to know how you can use this in the next 14 or next js or react application in general right so now that we basically have this i'm going to you know obviously restart the server so i show you how the system works now i'm going to clear this out and npm run dev so this is going to start our development server. I'm going to close all of this. Go back to the code. Open up the link we have. Come back there. So it's going to compile. It's the normal, normal um, Next.js um, 
um, tradition. So they're going to compile for a while. If it's not going to be able to see a screen. So let's come in here. So you can see we basically have all of this. So you definitely get a microphone prompt. But what you want to do is just to allow on every visit, right? So allow that. So I'm going to, this is me by the way. Hi. All right. So um, the next thing we do is to obviously give your room in. You can see what we changed there. Copy link to join a room. I'm going to show you real quick. And close that out. Copy link to join a room right there. You can see. Copy link to join. So you can ha actually see this. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to call this room. This, I can give myself a name. Actually, it's just my name. I'm joining a room. Some weird room. So now, this is actually my real name. Right? So let's do that. So I'm going to mute myself so it won't hear the echo. So you can see I've joined the group now. Good. So now I already copied the link. I'm going to open a separate tab and paste that in there. So now I'm on, I'm on that room. So I'm going to join this as a different individual. I'm going to join this as Paul Zigo. Okay. So join. Mute. Okay. Good. So you can see me here. And you can say Paul. So let's do this one more time by adding a different individual. Let's paste that in. So go, let's call this no, no man. So join. So you can say we have like three good members on the team. So we have the nano man, we have the Paul Zigo, and then we have Lucky. So we can say from this um, understanding, this is exactly how Google Meet work. So next time you want to build an actual scalable um, voice or chat application, you might want to you know check out Zego Cloud. It gives you a better um, fit for this kind of role. I remember when I am a team, we're trying to build this from scratch using the um, RPC framework. Basically, it was it was difficult, right? To be honest with you, and most of the time, it doesn't scale much, right? So. It's actually advisable you use an already existing solution that gives you this kind of flexibility, especially um, UI kit that you can use, right? So all of these are actually like little pieces of information that are, you know, pre-built within the Zego that you can definitely use, right? So I think that's actually it. I don't know if you guys might actually, you know, um, need this code in one way or another. I think I will just, you know, copy it and add it to some sort of gist for you guys to use. So it's actually very straightforward, by the way. And um, yeah, I think that's all for now. Catch you on the next one.